All right, we'll uh, try this flash blogging thing. We'll see how it goes. I guess flash blogging. This is a part of the uh, hashtag flip class chat. And uh, I hear my Twitter feed exploding with everyone putting their links in there already. By the way, uh, they've only been blogging for like five minutes. So I don't know what these freakazoids are doing with their crazy flash blog like powers. I think, I suspect, there may have been some cheating ahead of time. Like maybe some of this was a little pre-composed. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. So this week in a foot class we're talking about planning. We're talking about our, our struggles, our successes. And uh, yeah, so the flip class planning gets very convoluted, especially uh, for those of you outside flip class and don't know what a flip class is. The general uh, gist is instead of lecturing the kids during class, really? I don't know what I did, but I broke it. Uh, that may or, it may or may not still be recording. I don't know. My app went silly on me. Well, uh, <laughs> this might or may not get edited at all. We'll, uh, we'll see. Hold that thought. Editing. Yeah, yeah, it's, st it's still recording, so I don't know what this thing's problem. I got the, the, the toys. Okay, so basically instead of lecturing to my class, uh, I lecture to the, the camera and I post a lecture on YouTube with, you know, the graphics and the normal things that I would do for a lecture. It's sort of like an in-class lecture, only really, really condensed. Like, I really try and keep it like one topic, which is also really hard. Uh, normally I shoot for like 10 minutes max, but that is not even always successful. So, but they, they watch that as homework and then we come in, we can have a discussion, we can go in greater detail and we can really hit those higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy. And what I also really like about it teaching science is it gives me a chance to do uh, more lab time in class and more like inquiry based, more exploratory stuff that would take longer because that's, you know, what you get. You get more time in class and the, the planning, this is my second year flipping and I really think, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just... <laughs> suck more than everyone else, but I feel like to really have an effective flip class like with where with where I'd want it to be is like a three year endeavor. So the first year it was it was like all I could do is just have the videos and we would have like a discussion the next day um, after the like the in class after the video was due. But just the the amount of time planning a video and scripting video or even just modifying the PowerPoint to the point where it would be, you know, really condensed background information that I can talk in front of and like editing the video and uploading the video and ah, oh, it's it was crazy. I felt like a first year teacher all over again. It was it was exhausting. I was going into school at like six in the morning. No, I was going to school like 5.30 in the morning and started recording at like 6 to like scramble and have it like getting to the internet before uh, like before school would start so they could watch it and have a couple day leeway. And now this year where I'm really struggling is I have a lot of videos that I like. I have some that I've had to redo, but for the most part I haven't had to record too many videos. I've remixed a couple of them and pared them down and chopped them up just to make it a little more like just this one concept per video just to keep the kids from, you know, having a long rambly video like this one because I'm not going to edit very much of it. But the, the harder thing now is, like, I was always taught, like, direct instruction and then, like, you do some worksheets and then, you know, you take a test. And that was my entire, pretty much, biology instruction. Like, there'd be labs, but for the most part, it was, it was very just, you learn this, you do this, here's a lab. You learn this, you do this, here's a lab. You learn this, do this, here's a lab, maybe, take a test. So, it's hard for me to come up with, like, new and better ways of doing this, um in class and really taking advantage of my time. So that's where I'm struggling the most this year is finding, you know, cause, cause like a discussion is cool and like some kids get really into it, but not, not everybody. And some kids like it's pretty much as useless to them as a regular in class lecture. So I don't know, like the, I like, I like having discussions with my kids, but I really want to find a way to, to dive deeper and really get them um, to run it more. Almost, almost kind of like what they do with like in modeling. And there's not a whole lot of biology modeling out there. 
And so then the other thing I want to do is really do more labs, really do more investigations, and really do uh, more science. I, mean, I went to a, a workshop last year with uh, Aaron Reedy, awesome researcher at the University of Virginia. You guys should definitely uh, check him out. Links in the description. Um, and he's got a cool blog, and they're actually... Um, they do a lot of science, and the, one of the girls I went to high school with, Ariel Carl, is a researcher in that lab, so she'll actually Skype in. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. She'll actually Skype into my classroom from the field, which is really cool, and talk with the kids about science and showing some science happening. But even then, like, it's not, it's just not as good as actually getting the kids to do science, and that's really, that's really where I want to go. So I'm, I'm struggling with finding more ways for this camera to not be touched so much, but especially struggling to find more ways to bring more science into my classroom in a way where I can still, you know, teach them the things that I find valuable, teach them the things the state finds valuable, and, you know, prepare them for uh, what happens in academia, which is just a lot of testing. So it's, it's kind of, there's, there's my struggle slash duality of what I do in class. For more on Flip Class, uh, check out, uh, I'll put some links in the description for some background information on flipping in case anyone else is interested or curious. Or you can always just, uh, you know, message me or put a comment or video response. Is that, I don't even think you can do video responses anymore on YouTube because YouTube's gotten lame. But you could make a video and then post the link to it in a comment as if it was a response. That would be sweet. Anyway, that's uh, the Ramblies vlog and the first vlog in a little bit of a while. And also you'll notice it's handlebar time. Thanks for watching.